Sherrod Wright is the Knights' senior captain and best player. The uncertainty around Mount Vernon's season had affected each of the Knights differently. Sherrod nearly lost something he had worked so hard to gain. Since he was a freshman, he had been groomed to be Mr. Mount Vernon in 2009. Yet he nearly didn't get to play his senior season with the Knights. It was no basketball year. I was I was thinking about oh maybe I might have to transfer, maybe I might have to go prep or something like that for my senior year, so I can go out there and still get more scholarships for myself. And probably couple of my teammates will have to do that too. I was like just slow it down, calm down, and see what, see what goes on throughout the season first, see if we can really get it, and we got it. Kadeem Denham is also a senior from Mount Vernon. Basketball has given Kadeem the opportunity to escape the troubled life of his older brother, who is currently incarcerated on drug charges. My mom was nervous because the environment I live around is crazy, so she she was nervous. If it wasn't for basketball or coaching me, I don't know what, what what would I be doing right now. Sherrod Wright lives with his two parents and his younger brother and sister in a house near Mount Vernon's border with the Bronx. Sherrod's father, Derek Wright, is a construction worker. Sherrod often drives his dad to the subway at 6 in the morning as Derek Wright leaves for work. I started worrying when they said, you know, basically we said no more program. We would start thinking about transferring. And I was telling him, you know, just stay in Mount Vernon, just do the last year. You don't have to play sport. But he, like I said, he didn't want, he, didn't, he wanted to be seen, so he wanted to transfer. He, he came down to the wire where just before school, you know, school in September, way like in August or something. That's when, that's when we really find out that, oh, they're going to have it for September. Sherrod was more concerned about possibly losing a captain's role he had worked so hard to earn. Captain number 23, Sherrod Wright. I was real disappointed because these are all the people I grew up with. Dane, Jordan, Vaughn, Mark. I went through junior nights with them. I'll show you some of the trophies. We all went through the whole program together. It was my time to lead them to a section, to a state, to a fed. I don't get that chance. It wouldn't be fair because everybody else before me got that chance. And now they just, when it's my turn, it just shut everything down. All right, right here, this is my little sister, Dominique. <sighs> she, how old are you, Dominique? Turn. Six. Turn. Six. She goes to Longfellow Middle School. I mean, Longfellow Middle uh, School. My little brother. He, he's, he's ten. She's six. So these are my family members. My sister, my brother. I love them a lot. They're annoying at times, but it's a good thing to have around. He would have lost the friendship and the camaraderie that he helped to establish in his earlier years. This is something that you wait for as a Mount Vernon player to lead, to shine, and this, this is his year. As Mount Vernon continued its season with five wins in its next six games, Wright was a highly sought recruit. He estimates that colleges sent him about 10 letters a day. I got my first, I think I was like in ninth grade. I was hype, I was reading the whole thing. Now when I get him, I read half of it, throw it away, because I'm so used to everything. This is from Oklahoma State University Cowboy Basketball. By your own soul, learn to live. If a man thought you, play, pay no head. If a man hate, hate you, have no care. Kadeem lives with his mom in a house in the heart of Mount Vernon. I'm like, Mom, we about to... Um I was meant to have a season, so she, she was iffy and worried because she, she don't want me in the streets. She never want me in the streets. I'd be outside. She call my phone over and over. So that's what it was. If you call, if you look in my phone when you call me, on my cell, his, his name is my future. And if he, if I call his cell phone, it said the love of my life. <laughs> you know, so, and I'm very proud of him. Very proud. Kadeem has come a long, long way uh, in life. Uh, basketball has been very, very good for him. Can you imagine if he made it to the NBA? <laughs> Can you imagine if he make it to the NBA? I don't know. I don't know. But he's going to go there. I'm, I, 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 I know he's going to reach there. He's going to make me proud. That's my future. I'm not looking to go play for NBA. I'm just trying to be something like, like I have a name. I'm not trying to be a nobody. Kadeem's season started slowly. In November, the senior was injured in a serious car accident that threatened to end his career. It happened so fast, like, I thought it was over for me. My arm was, all my skin was halfway off. I thought it was a wrap. I'm, I'm just sitting down in the car like, yo, it's over for me. Like, 
can't believe it happened my senior year. He did recover. It set him back uh, a couple of months at least, though. That left Kadeem on the bench as the season began. He had to work hard to earn playing time. Hard on the arm, hard, hard on the arm. 